Okay, at the same time, a side step is a diagonal step. 제가 하프가드 플레이하고 싶은 쪽으로 단계 다리 사이로 보내서. Okay, I get the first hook. Okay, and pull my opponent towards me. If my opponent here has the idea to come. Thank you. Fix my arm with my elbow. Cancel the knee. Okay, it's really closing everything. Okay, I cancel my knee shield. It doesn't come. Okay, the arm that surround here my my leg. Okay, that I don't really like. Okay, for that I will use John Wayne. So for that I can keep my frames here. I will cancel the initial. So for example here, on the case of the opponent here. Okay, I like to break it just by shooting vertically here on my bottom leg. That's a 90 degree angle. Job here of the top leg. Okay, is to put both of the feet on the ground. I will need here to press down. Look now the posture of my opponent. Two big tunnel here that I cannot take advantage of. My opponent is not tight anymore now. Both his hand here. He's falling. That's a sweep. So he will have to post his hand. Pass the end under to enter the end. And in. Yeah, Underneath his ankle. Yeah, shoot. And then I close. Yeah. Sweep it up. Yeah. Open the knee. Yeah. Punch. Yeah. I sweep in. This is hard. Yeah. I cannot sweep. I get back here to my base. Okay. And I'm going to go further than that. Not going to put my elbow on the mat. I don't want to see that. Here. I hope you stop me. I'm going to take profit on my shoulder to stand up. I'm going to posture up. And I'm going to pull. Here with my grip, I'm going to send him forward, both of my legs parallel. So the bread, the bread and the steak. On the other side, I'm going to make here a seat belt. And directly welcome him with the bottom hook. Okay, I lay down, welcome him with the bottom hook. Extend his body. Okay, so I extend. Okay, I can use the other hand too. And get back to the seat belt. Oh, he doesn't want here. He put the wizard on. Do the same. I send him forward. I leave the grip. Send my arm forward and get back to the turtle. Yeah. Parallel seat belt. Okay. I lay down. Welcome him with the hook. This is not the deep half guard that I like. Oh. When it come back, this is when I go for way to go. The most is okay, getting yeah, okay. it here. Okay. And lock. So strongly posted on the ground. The other leg gonna keep extending. You send and you go. Slow motion here. Okay? Yeah, it's I go. Here. Send my opponent. Recharge. Okay, I don't want to see. Outside. Okay? I faint the first one. The reaction, he will drop all his weight forward. Go with the first one. I follow. Go. 
and I get here the same position as the coyote back tail. Down. Okay, but now the same position. Red tail bolo here. So I refuel the rotation, change hook, send him forward. He doesn't want. It's perfect. Roll. Same position. Drive your opponent. One. Two. Three. Good thing is that you have the lapel. One. Two. Three. And on to the rules where these days when I'm ruling, I just try to move as much as I possibly can. It's a lot more fun for me if I'm just moving all the time. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do in all of my rules during practice these days. I had to take about a week off, so it was really good to be back. All through the training camp, I wasn't able to train, but I still have a pretty sensitive rib here. And although it's been about a week since the injury, what I didn't realize is it's going to take about three or four weeks for it to fully heal. Pretty much everyone at the seminar that came today that I ruled with especially were really into half guard. I mean I guess it makes sense they're here to watch a guy who's famous for his half guards seminar. But lucky for them, I've gotten really good at smashing the half guard. I used to fight this guy named Trojan Young all the time. And I've developed this special style of passing just for this guy. I'm hoping someday it'll actually be a little bit more effective than it has in the past. This is one of the rules that almost brought a tear to my eye. Actually, the sensitive rib is on the right side. Everything is okay so long as I don't get any pressure on it. And so I'm trying my best to keep all of his weight off my right side. And it's not working so well. And there's a point where he actually gets a little bit into the rib and I almost tapped just to the pressure of one. It was pretty painful. But as you train and train, you kind of just get married to the pain. It's just something that's always there, although usually not as intense as a bruised rib. I've had a lot of people both up in Seoul and in Incheon ask me about this arm drag that I've been catching on a lot of people. Actually I caught it on Reddit as well, the same arm drag that I used from the guard. And hopefully in a video in the future I hope to share this arm drag with you guys because it's pretty slick. I'm back in my hotel room and Reddit seminar was up here in Seoul and DK was gracious enough to let us use his gym and the seminar was pretty good. Lots of guys with different styles from different gyms all around Seoul and one of the good things about Seoul is there's so many different styles of Jiu Jitsu here just diversifying in so many different directions. I'm very grateful to be healthy and training again. Like when you go to a seminar, you don't really know the people all that well, especially like brown and black belts It's kind of weird to ask them if I can film the role the vibe can get kind of weird sometimes with like brown and black belts a little bit difficult to toe that line Like I just want to kind of share some of my jiu-jitsu roles But at the same time you need people who are okay with that and I don't want to be too pushy with it You know people there were really good man So many half guard people people who are just like really into Reda's game and it's been good because, you know, I like to weave pass, which is like a pass that smashes the half guard. Sometimes really well, sometimes not so well. And I'm not like super into half guard or deep half, but I'm going to have to start incorporating some of these things into my game. And the things that I don't incorporate, I got to learn really well so I can learn how to counter these things. I just wanted to show you guys this, this device here in the bathroom. I couldn't figure out if you stand on it, like you can power it on. 
And when you get out of the shower, you stand on this thing. <laughs> and it dries you from the bottom up as you're toweling off from the top. It's pretty sick.